believed it pretty well in Japan. I think it got to number four and uh, was certified gold, I, I think. And you've always had a loyal following in Japan, haven't you? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's been um, it's been pretty crazy, actually, to, to cope, like, headline, like, you know, the huge Summer Sonic Festival mm, mm. with thousands of people, and they're all singing your song, and, and English isn't their first language, and you just go out and you go, holy shit, like, this is, um, this is really special and beautiful and amazing. And that high is just something that's like wow like it's connected like that many people have connected to a track you know it's music the power of music it's amazing before we get off track from that album i personally think that um bad news uh, had big potential to be a hit single as well great rock song i wish that song was a single i wrote that one with desmond child that was one of the first songs i wrote what was that like writing with uh with desmond i love desmond desmond is He's magical as well. And I met him. He was one of the first writers I met actually coming out to L.A., which is insane. Um, I had lunch with him at the Earth Cafe with Andreas Carlson, and we wrote Bad News and recorded the first demo in Charlie Chapman's house in Hollywood, in the Hollywood Hills. And it was a crazy experience, and it was amazing. And I knew when we wrote it that it was something really special. And just writing with Desmond in general, he's just, you know, um, hit maker and just like he just knows how to get those choruses going and make me sing you know the top of my range I, and there's so many it takes it what we I think the song was actually uh higher before he had me singing like he's he's like no scream high so I'm like I'm like dude I can't I'm gonna sound like a dying animal here but he always <laughs> he always pushes uh he always pushes me which I love which I love you know about Desmond 